You may also hear of something called a motional EMF. And basically, what that means is move the loop. in a magnetic field. Okay. In all those examples I did at the beginning, in almost all of them, the loop was stationary. We, weren't, we were moving the magnets, we were changing currents, we weren't moving the loop. That very last one where I let the loop drop, that would have been a motional EMF. So let's look at those more carefully. Um, let's start with, uh, start with a conducting bar or a metal bar in a B field. So let's see, we would want to think about this piece of metal like this, and a B field like we always draw, in this case, into the board. All over the place, okay? So what we want to think about, in motional EMF, you, you still think about what's called the Lorentz force. The QE force, so F equals QE for the electric field, F equals QV cross B for the magnetic field. So you add those together, that's the total force a charge will feel in any combination of electric and magnetic fields. It's called the Lorentz force. And we have to think about what will that be. So we have charges in here. Um, and since it's a conductor, we have charges that are free to move. Let's keep it real and treat it like a metal. So let's say that the electrons, the negative charges are free to move, the positive charges are stuck. So we have a bunch of electrons negatively charged, free to move with a velocity like this. Let's say we let it move to the right. Then those electrons are gonna feel a force, V cross B is up, but that would be for the positive charges. The electrons are gonna feel a force down and they're gonna all crowd around down here, okay? So the free electrons respond to B uh, due to F equals M V cross B. And they go to the bottom, which has to leave some of these positive nuclei slightly uncovered up here. So what we've done is we have sort of polarized this rod, and basically electrons move until, uh, I think we sort of did this before, we're creating an electric field here. Okay. Electric field that looks like this inside the material. The electric field makes them want to come together, the magnetic field makes them want to go away, go apart, so it goes until QE equals Q, um, obviously, uh, QVB, if we're just doing magnitudes. Okay. So then what you find is the Qs go away, and you can figure out that the electric field you generate will depend on the magnetic field and how fast you move. Okay. But where's the EMF? There's no EMF. There's no current flow here. This is just a static thing that happens, a static situation. If it's moving with constant velocity, you'll get this separation, it just sits there, there's no current flow. Let me go back to my notes. 